Why, hello there. It's the Forager Omniplay because it's a Friday. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to keep this out on the Fridays. I honestly, this might be a game that I need more than I thought. You know, it's, it's one of those games. I, I feel like, you know, this is the one to chill out with. And uh, a lot of days I really do need to chill out. <laughs> This game's a little loud. Let's let's turn this down just a tiny bit. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of games you can uh, that's single player that you can literally just turn on and just relax. And also hype here. I know I know you're like one of the only people that watch this video. So here you go. You happy? I use the uh, the half thing. <laughs> If you hear like candy, it, it sounds like I'm eating a Jolly Ran uh, Jolly Rancher, uh, Jolly Rancher. It's a cough drop, because like, I talked a lot during the stream. It's usually what people do on streams. I mean, I talked a lot during my job, and then here I am talking all you know, into this mic this whole time here. You know what do you expect from me? You probably, you know, expect good content. That's what that's what you're here for. <laughs> good is relative, by the way. <laughs> oh man. There's a lot of stuff to talk about this week. I don't <laughs> I have no idea where to start. I mean the Spider-Man stuff. I feel like we should we should chill. We should chill with the Spider-Man. Until it's like definitive, the definitive edition. Like it just, just if it all might just be clickbait. <laughs> Generate all of the attention. I mean, I mean, if that was Disney's move, you know, they want that forty-five percent pay bump. Uh, if that was Disney's move, then they're geniuses, and I'm. I'm not gonna question <laughs> that Disney's, you know, they're they're pretty much the evil genius of entertainment. You know, they they use the just the cheapest tactics. You know, like all of these orphan children. Like they they have the the brainwashing down, okay? Like I understand this. You have to understand that when you uh, when you approach Disney's content, you gotta you gotta know what you're getting into. You're like, okay, I know that this is gonna make me think differently about you know how I spend my money, how I live my life, but it's fun. So who cares? <laughs> Disney. Yeah, let's spend the skill point. What's our um, what's our trajectory here? Skills. We want to go like top left, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have some sort of uh, plan, and that's why I think this should this should be a daily thing. Cause I mean, let's be honest. Like, how long is it gonna take me to get to where I want to in this game? It's gonna take a while. I don't know. We'll see. Like, if I'm honest, like, Dicey Dungeons should be the thing I play on stream right now. It's just the game that I'm like, I love streaming. And I feel like there's there's good interaction with it. Like, good enough interaction? I don't know. Um, and then, uh, Binding of Isaac, I, I want to keep going. I want to get better. Um, you know, it's one of those old school, uh, one of those old school games that I really should have been playing this whole time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm taking a while to think because there we go. Let's do let's do this because we want leather at some point. There we go. That's that cough drop. Cough drops do wonders on my throat, dude. It's not even not even joshing with you. <laughs> Joshing. Where did that come from? I'm gonna do a quick Google. Where did Joshing 
the phrase just joshing come from? What is the origin and meaning of the phrase just joshing? Cora. Okay. So, what do we have here? I hope this answer is correct. I got it from answers.com and it was a pain in the bottom. Uh, and if you know what I mean, I had to go through page after page of which hung. Okay, I got it. Just joshing you came from the late 1800s and has a very interesting story behind it. Josh Tatum was a deaf mute, but a very enterprising young man from the Midwest. In 1883, the U.S. Mint came out with a new nickel. It was deemed the Liberty Ahead nickel on the reverse. This sounds like garbage. It sounds so made up. Hold on. The clerk would accept the coin and in most instances give Josh back $4.95 and change, which he would happily take. By the time law enforcement caught up with him, yada yada yada. Oh man. So there was a banker that was basically abusing this deaf mute. Giving him four ninety five for uh for something that was worth five dollars. Just joshing you is like extremely malicious then. Never using that phrase again. That's I'm I'm just joshing you. <laughs> Uh. All right, let's get some stuff going. What do we what do we need? We want let's just uh, let's go make half of this and you know a little bit of this a little bit of that A little bit of shovel for you We got to find some hides Ooh, a small backpack sure I think we got to kill a cow Sorry, cow. Sorry, not sorry. So yeah, Spider-Man is gonna be fine, guys. The worst that can happen is that Disney buys up Sony in a couple years, you know, after they make one movie Everyone boycotts it because it's not in the MCU. Everyone boycotts Spider-Man 2 by Insomniac. Hopefully that doesn't happen, honestly. That sucks. That would suck if that happened. Like, the video game should be completely separate from the movies. And it, it is. It currently is. <clears throat> but maybe Sony doesn't want it to be that way. Maybe Sony wants them to be uh to be to be paired up why does the music stop the music is so good why do you stop it at night oh there's different music okay that's fine this is like limbo music and not like music from the from the video game limbo i'm talking about like you know like going underneath the bar bending your back Just to see how flexible everybody is. So other game news, uh, Death Stranding stuff came out. There's an article about it. And it actually describes the gameplay. And uh, guess what? <laughs> I don't really want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> no no surprise there. Oh, it's not a roguelike. Oh, it's not a twin stick shooter. Oh It's <laughs> It's not like some sort of a simulation game Yeah, no, thanks, but I Don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like groundbreaking and I got to check it out but like Third person third person third person like adventure style. I didn't want to kill that chicken by the way oops I don't know it just doesn't tickle my fancy you know what I'm saying I mean you guys know the stuff I like you guys probably know the stuff that I like more than I do because I can't decide 
most of the time, half of the time. I was going to say half of the time, but I already said most of the time. So I can't back up on it. Uh, so let's do, hold on. Let's make some iron ingots again. Yeah, we need two of these. <clears throat> and then we can make an iron shovel. Oh, we got, we level up again. Hmm. They don't really tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you're like, uh, yeah, they do. It literally, like, showed up on your screen massively. Okay, so let's do... We have windmills. Let's make a windmill as uh, as soon as we can. What do we need to make a windmill? I guess is the next question. Farming. Windmill. Brick and thread. We don't really need anything, like, like need need as far as skills. So let's go ahead and pick something over on the top left. So I feel like this is the best way for us to... Uh, to press on once we unlock the automated uh, automated miner thing flower press okay I don't know how to use that thing um, but yeah if we have the uh, the auto miner dude we're set okay uh, let's go get some more iron I think there's some over here there we go but yeah, Death Stranding, Kojima. I I enjoyed the the uh, the Metal Gear games to an extent, but if you know me, like I mostly don't care about a game story unless it's like absolutely fantastic. Like, uh, it's it's kind of how I approach a lot of entertainment, a lot of media. Like, I'm in it for the for the jokes. I'm in it for like the moment to moment kind of things I'm not really in it for the for the long haul and it's kind of weird because I don't I don't approach a lot of games like that like a, a lot of roguelikes a lot of like MMOs and stuff that I play I'm in it for the end game you know and I guess it's the same thing now that I'm thinking about it it's it's honestly from the same vein of thought it's it's like I don't care much about what's going on right now. I want to see what happens, you know, at the very end of this, you know. Um, maybe, maybe it's a character flaw. You can decide for yourself with your perfect personality. Sorry, I'm, that's a little snippy. <laughs> Happy Friday! <laughs> you just ruined it, jerk. <laughs> if that ruins your Friday, dude. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a happier outlook in life, all right? I'm not talking about the uh, the Microsoft program, although if you if you could somehow make that program happier, you know, that's billions of dollars for you. Because everyone just looks at that and they're like, ah, work. <laughs> I get into these discussions with that uh, with Ashley, my wife, sometimes, and, and um, of like kind of a culture shift of of work in general, uh, like with our parents' generation versus ours. Like ours is more of like uh, like you should work in the field that you're passionate about because you're gonna have the most impact there, right? That's that's kind of how it looks. But I mean, back then, it's just like, find the job that will accept you and you're good at. E even if you're not good at it, just just do it because it's work. And work is, you know, what you do in life. And it, it's <laughs> just saying it out loud just like that. It's just like, ooh, something's off about that. You know, it feels like the antithesis of all the movies, all the things that you, you know, that, that you've been fed your whole life <laughs> it's like aren't i supposed to be somewhere like i enjoy stuff like that <clears throat> and maybe it's like for me it, it's honestly finding the balance once i'm in that balance of like a good routine it's just like okay cool all right am i happy in here you know what i'm as happy as i can be so let's just <laughs> move forward like this because it's it's good you know it's fulfilling it's 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 been really hard to get to that point, you know. It, this isn't supposed to be like a like a soap opera of me here. You know, I don't like this position for this windmill, honestly. I don't know why I did that. 
Because then it's blocking this furnace slightly. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It just looked like it fit, so I was like, sure. Um, I want to start off really early with the animal feed and uh, really get a lot of poop going. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. You'll see. You'll see. I have a master plan, okay? Just, just to believe in the cycle. But yeah, it's, it's, um, I think our generation's just in a, I guess in, a, not in like a state of denial, and I can't speak for everybody, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm of the didn't go to college and somehow wound up in a pretty good job uh, kind of thing, and it's, it's honestly, it, it, it kind of shows a lot of the times, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't want to do the paperwork. Can I just solve the thing? <laughs> you know? Um, and when I say that out loud, like, my wife laughs because she's like, yeah, that sounds like uh, that's a you problem. <laughs> you got to do the paperwork. You got you to gotta be able to back yourself up. You know, because nobody else is. You know, it's, it's a sad reality in the outside world. It's just like... You have your friends, like, you, it's good to have friends, sure, and, uh, good to have people to talk, talk through things, but ultimately, you know, it's you against the world. Um, even saying it out loud just now, I'm just like, I don't like how that sounds, but it's, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be part of things you don't like. It's just the way of the thing. Okay, so here, hold on. If we keep going this way, unlocks mining rods. That's what we want. That's what we want, I think. Yeah, the mining rods gives us automation, and automation is good. Uh, more poop, please. I don't know why you make food with poop. If if anyone's a farmer out there, can you confirm? That you feed animals poop? Like... <laughs> I don't feed my cats poop. They throw me in jail. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little extreme. <laughs> I'm trying to scrounge up any other game news in my head. Um, we, f we saw footage of The Witcher. Uh, on the Switch, which, uh, you know, cleverly named Switcher. That's, that's, uh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good stuff, it looks like. Uh, it looks basically like an MMO, but, you know, single player. And, uh, yeah. It, it looks like something I'd I honestly get into nowadays, um, if I had the time. <laughs> The, the the time thing is kind of it, it's a weird argument that I make against myself in my in my head because there's several parts to it it's like do I want to dedicate you know X amount of hours on this what will that get me you know like is it just for pure entertainment in which case I feel like I'm failing the world and uh, uh, that's a dramatic approach, sure. You know, why can't you just have fun? Omni, just have fun. Just do it, forehead. But no, I, I want to get, like, actually better at something to be, to be able to provide, you know... If, if I was playing it to review something or, like, to, to talk in a, in a podcast or something, then I would probably be more motivated to play it. <laughs> this is when, uh... My buddies, Matt and uh, Iceberg, <laughs> they're just like, uh, let's just do the podcast then. But it, it's, okay, let's, uh, let's, one, let's do it. <laughs> let's make it happen. Because this is just basically what I'm doing here, and it's not as good as what we would probably make together. Um, this cow is interrupting me. Interrupting cow says what? <laughs> It's an old knock-knock joke for you. 
All right, let's uh, let's make more food than one, please. Mm. Wait, so what are we missing now? Flowers, okay. So we need, can we plant flowers? Trees, cotton seeds, beets. We can make flour. <laughs> it's just too easy. All right, so we're gonna, don't kill the cows. The cows are sacred. I was gonna make an India joke, but it was probably better. I don't. I just realized this game is probably a little bit brighter than usual. Wait, is it? Is it just my eyes? It might be my eyes. No, it's not my eyes. There we go. Alright, so the second half of this video is gonna be fine. Sorry, I put I put the brightness filter for for binding of Isaac. And it's Because the game's too dark and I have my gamma all the way up, and it's just yeah, it's no good Okay So we're almost level 12. What are we gonna do here? We're running out of time <laughs> I mean we're not we're not in a rush honestly and again like going back to me saying I want this I want to do this video more I feel like no this is the perfect amount of forager <laughs> I could play my other accounts if I want to relax. And it's funny how I was saying about that relaxing stuff, and then, you know, inversely, I was like, I can't play games to just have fun. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> you spend your whole life, you know, being a contradiction of, of yourself and of culture, and you're like, you don't know how to go back. You might be like, wait, what are you saying? Honestly, I don't know. See? That's how it works. <laughs> That's the danger of it all. Nobody knows what's happening. Okay, so let's let's shovel up a ton. And then plant these cotton seeds. Cotton seeds. If I find a way to water crops, they'll grow much faster. Uh, I'm fine with them growing um, at their own speed, okay? I don't want to rush the growth of my children. They can grow at whatever speed they uh, were, you know, supposed to. <laughs> Take that, science. You know, if farmers had that kind of mindset, we'd all starve. <laughs> uh, that's actually not a joking matter, is it? <laughs> we'd all starve! <clears throat> you think about it, though, like... The Impossible Burger is just, you know, one, one step towards that. But, like, the Impossible Burger is, you know, is going to be saving all these animals, but you know, we'll have to compensate somehow, right? We have to lose all these plants, lose all the, the beets. The beets are going to go extinct. Poor beets. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's... <laughs> There was a news story when I was at the gym. <gasps> Omni was at the gym? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the gym. I'll talk about that in the by the Isaac episode. This one comes out first, right? Yeah, this one. This one's out in the morning. I hope you're enjoying this. This is honestly like this is good stuff to, to watch in the morning. You're lucky you. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I can't even continue after that. Hey, beets. There we go. We can make some impossible burgers. What is it? Beets and beans? I don't know. If I knew how to make it, you know, I'd probably be in a better financial state. Not that I'm in like a bad financial state, you know? I don't want to say anything like that. You know, perfectly fine, honestly. 
we want some leather. We gotta kill some cows. No, I don't wanna kill Betsy. I don't wanna kill Moo Moo. I need their poop. I have a hundred poop. Hey, we got a poop hat. Eventually we can wear one of those. All right, hold on. Let's get these flowers. Get these hides. Get this cotton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. This is good stuff. We're making good progress for just having like three pieces of land. <laughs> Very good progress. Maybe it's because I know what I'm doing. To an extent, to an extent. I, I, I didn't look up, like, min-maxing in this game. It just sounds really silly to me. We're gonna unlock mining rods, and this is when it gets real. <laughs> this is when things absolutely go bonkers, okay? Where's the mining rods? Right here? We need steel and brick. Everyone's gonna look at this run of Forager and be like, what? He, he only has three pieces of land and he's got mining rods going? What? This is insane. You know, maybe I am min-maxing here. I'm just, you know, trying to be, trying to be as efficient as possible. Efficiency is, uh... Is key. <laughs> it's key. <laughs> I was I wasn't d deliberately pausing there to to hover over the key, but it worked out. It was that was um, pretty funny. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we don't have any flowers, so let's just go ahead and keep um, making some cotton. And not the oxy kind. Oxycontin's bad, right? That's like a drug. I don't know. I know nothing. Doom, 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 doom. The music in this game kind of feels random. Like, it, it, it kind of like takes inspiration from all these kinds of games, and it's just like, here. There you go. I mean, it's, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. But it, it has like Animal Crossing, it has like... Uh, all sorts of stuff. All the Mario games. A little bit of Zelda in there. A little bit of Monica. All night long. Sorry, Lubega. <laughs> I had to. I had to squeeze you in there. Little bit of me makes you a man. Mm, doo -doo -doo. How do you feel not being in a backlog, though? I feel like it's... As someone who, you know, makes... Uh, makes makes very small amount of videos, it might be... It might be attractive for you know, someone. I guess attractive is the wrong word. Um, <laughs> it might be. Uh, I guess more easily listenable if it's not like I record three in a day and you guys, you know, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can leave comments on how you want this to, to all happen, but I feel like this Forger Dicey Dungeons Isaac feels like a good flow of things. Um, when I get better at Isaac, or when I get better at Slay the Spire, we can record some more of those, but before then, I don't know. Like, if I can't beat Ascension 5, I feel like I should beat Ascension 5 outside of stream first and just, like, figure that out. Cause it's it's 
I don't want to say it's embarrassing, but like if you if you just record 10 losses at once, you know, it's just it it almost feels like it's not worth it to watch. You know, even if it's mostly just, you know, background noise or whatever. Are you learning with me like the process of getting to the point of good? Do, do, do. Oh, we're at the 30 minute mark. But I want to keep going. No, mom. 10 more minutes. Nah, that's perfectly fine. Um, thank you guys for watching, though. <laughs> it has been uh, a really fast episode of Forager here. <laughs> we, uh, we're going to we're going to have mining rods real soon. After these two steel rods come out, and it's gonna it's gonna go haywire from there, man. Alright. I'll catch you on the next one. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you wanna watch future episodes off you obviously you wanna hit that sub button. Uh, otherwise tell your friends, because I don't know how else this channel is gonna grow. Um, it's kind of like a bad state of like playing random indie games, you know, on YouTube. But otherwise, I'm gonna keep making these, so. Check out the Twitch channel, all of that good stuff, Discord, all of it. Cool. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.